52-37. He will not turn into the city of a stranger that is not of the children of Yahshua Hall. This stranger here, what? Is not of the children of Yahshua Hall. Let's go to Ruth, uh, a coat, coat here, um, Captain Yahoo. Uh, Ruth 2 and 10. I'm trying, guys. She won't, she won't, she won't get her name. <laughs> I guess she like mine so much. Go ahead, use it, girl. Ruth 2 and 10. Ruth 2 and 10. Then she fell on her face and bowed herself to the ground and said unto him, Why have I found grace in thine eyes? That thou shouldest take knowledge of me, seeing I am a stranger. And that stranger right there is not free. 5237. Did y'all hear the whole entire lesson that Morgan did on Ruth the Moabite? Yeah. Oh, y'all did? Okay. Yeah, but so the definition that he gave of the Brown survivor's breaks is uh, 5235. In the second form, it means strange and variety of degrees. Right. In applications, harming, non, uh, non relative. And I uh, just found some of those things. Uh, yeah, because I'm just going to go to that to the oh, end, okay. uh, 5235. Even though it lists 5237, but it's coming from 5235. A strange, like he said, a variety of degrees and applications, far or none relative. So we see with that, like I said, she. Um, at that time, she wasn't living or Well, how do I put this? Living amongst Yahshua, or she, I would say she had been there for a period of time where you just generally accept it because you got to realize when we start dealing with Ruth, we got to also understand the relationship between Yashra all and how they look at Moab or the Moabites. Now, with Ruth, even though she found this favor, you still see throughout that whole opposition, I mean, throughout that whole situation, was that still not opposition? Even with not maybe not coming from Moab, but from the other women and stuff, you see that when we get into the history, or let's start looking into Moab, uh, the Moabites of Israel, they didn't have a good relationship. That just was, it, it, it just, it, it was rough all the way even down to the town of Dawu. Um, it just, the, the history of the two families, it, it, it wasn't there. But when we look at the purpose of the Most High, what he was doing, and how he was going to bring about something, you know, she was able to find this grace or find this favor in the eyes of uh, a boy else. But at the time, they would not have listed or looked at her as 1616. You want to have any input on that one? Oh, uh, no. That's not all I had. Uh, okay. Because I don't think we understand how deep that relationship, that Israel and Moab, how deep it went even down through the lineage and all the way up until. That was deep. There are some other sources that I'm not going to name the sources. Even when, you ever notice when, when Samuel went to find that um, 
Jesse's son to anoint them to see who the king would be? That they appear anointing all Jesse's son? But when it came to David, what did they have to do? He was nowhere around. They had to go search and look for David. Y'all do know that story, right? Yeah. But why was that? Because it's commonly taught that David's mother was on the um, on the vow a vow at that time, and she had not spoken or wouldn't speak because there was still some um, discrepancies whether whether the whole Ruth the Moabite son, if David came through the lineage of a Moabite. And now this is just from some source that we don't use. I'm not gonna say that we don't use it here. And I don't like to get into a lot of uh, what we call quote unquote Jewish uh, sources and all. But it was, it was common to talk that she was on the about. It. She didn't speak until the oil came out of the horn and anointed and on uh, David. And that's when she first spoke because that let her know, or it gave um, Yishi or Jesse assurance that. He was of a, a lineage that wasn't tainted, or you know, by, by the whole Moabite thing. I'm just throwing that, that out there, food for thought. But not saying that that's 100% correct or whatever, but that just comes from another source. Just to show how, even with that, how Jesse felt like it would bring shame upon the family uh, having that child with her or David being of that seed, not knowing that if it was more by blood there. And that's why I say he wasn't present. That's why when he anointed all the other sons, David had to be found. He was always kept on uh, separate uh, and him and up in another part of the land or whatever because of that. And this is sort of how that that tension between Israel and Moab, how deep it ran. So let's go to Second Samuel, the first chapter, the thirteenth verse. Go to you on okay. Is that what you get that for? Yes. Um, um, uh, uh, the devil said to the young woman that told him when it's thou, and he answered, I am the son of a stranger. And he said, you now have a stranger there. Yeah, I got the word there. Uh, 16, 16. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have it. Okay, let's go. 
equal to 2 Samuel 15 and 19. Yeah, Cole. Yeah, that would do on that. Second Chronicles. Six and thirty-two. Second Chronicles six and verse thirty-two. Moreover, concerning the stranger, which is not of thy people, Yashua, but is come from a far country with great namesake. And thy mighty hand, and thy stretched out arm. If they came, if they come and pray in this house. Keep reading. Saint Chronicles 6, verse 34. 33. Or 33. Then hear thou from the heavens, even from thy dwelling place, and do according to all that the stranger calleth to thee for, that all people of the earth may know thy name and fear thee, as as the thy people, Joshua, and may know that this house which I have built is called by thy name. Let's do it right there. So it's a more old concern the stranger. We have 5237 like that. It's a which what is not of thy people. The stranger that is not of your people. Okay then. Would 1616 be of the people? Yeah. But not in that particular case. No, yeah. You you're right when you said um called 1616 where well, where? With the people. Uh, with the people amongst the people. He said up oh, well. Treat them as one born in the land. So when we get to 5237, that's why I wanted to point out some more scriptures. So how when it showed it said, um Moreover, concerning the stranger which is not of thy people Israel, but is come from where? Far a country. far country. If, if you look at it, it's still setting up the, um, the same um, when we get to the end times. What takes place? You have a stranger that lives where? Among, Among the and within the gates. Right. But you're going to have strangers coming from where? Do you remember he's going to send every nation back where? 
He's going to send them back to their own lands. But annually, they're going to have to do what? They're going to have to come. It is a call to thee for that all people of the earth may know what? Thy name to fear thee as do thy people Israel, and that they may know that this house which I have built is called what? By thy name. Let's go to 6 and 32. Oh, that we just hit 6 and 32 then. Let's go to 6 and, um, he did 6 and 33. You did 33 as well, right? Yes. Okay, then. Let's go to Brother Job, 15 and 19. Job 15 and 19. I'm about to go. Job 15 and 19. Unto whom alone the earth was given, and no stranger passed upon thee. Among them. That's um, 21 14 again, Zor. Let's go to Job 31 and 32. <clears throat> Proverbs 2 and 16 first. Proverbs what, sir? Proverbs 2 and 16. And um, 
You got uh, 44 and 80 for it? Uh, That's midday. Stranger, we have no hurry. Let's look at 56 and 3. Isaiah 56 and 3. Did he give you a definition? Oh, uh, as, a as a prepositional phrase, from, uh, out of, on account of, all, this is the words, the Hebrew word study, uh, mm -hmm. translation, pronunciation, etymology, grammar, it has from, out of, on account of, off, on the side of, um, it has pretty much the same thing, uh, ground driving phrase, uh, it has from, or out of, in many senses, above, after, among, and uh, it just makes mention that it's mentioned in that form 25 times. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so Isaiah 56 and 3, you have that to move? Yeah. Uh, neither let the son of the stranger that hath joined himself to Yahuwah speak, saying, Yahuwah hath utterly separated me from his people. Neither let the Enoch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. Yeah, that's the unit. So that strange is 5236. Right. And when we get down to 5636, and also the sons of the stranger that joined themselves to you.